Everybody's running in here because yeah, they don't want to cheer up their resolution to lose weight this year. All right, most of us and our families relaxing, indulging in all those wonderful treats and those fingerling potatoes. Potatoes. Which were we're all burping garlic over here, by the way. Here to help us with those New Year's fitness resolutions is celebrity fitness trainer Alex Isley. So um, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Um, you were always you look good, by the way. Oh, thank you. Were you. Always, <laughs> you were always athletic, always into the fitness thing. I was. When did you decide to be good looking? <laughs> After the fitness thing. Oh, okay. No, so, when did you decide to get go professional and say, I want to be a trainer, it. I want to teach people? Well, at the time, you know, I was I was doing a lot of triathlons. I was cycling quite a bit. And a friend of mine was teaching an indoor cycling class. And he was leaving and he needed somebody to fill in. So he asked me if I would do it. And the first class I got up there, I started teaching. I, I, I realized that this is really where I meant to be. It was like my purpose. I love the teaching component. I love helping people, especially to get them closer to what they want to do to feel it's good about themselves. It's hard sometimes to get people to want to help themselves. It I mean, is. You can will them so far, but then they're like, oh, God, I want to get up and go. Absolutely. I think that's that the hardest part. I tell everybody mentally, if you can actually tell yourself to do it and, and get through it, that's, that's your biggest inspiration and your accountability. Okay, a uh, common mistake people make when starting out exercising. What are the, what's the wrong? Um, I think they overthink it, you know? I think that you look at a lot of programs that are out there and it's like information overload and then they start a program and everybody wants it now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I tell, you know, a lot of my clients, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint, right? If you just start off simple, eventually the results will come. Sometimes that yep. simple is just getting the clothes on, the sneakers yeah. on. Yeah, and just I, that's it. Really. Once no, it you is. get yeah. that over no, that hump, you're like, oh, I'll just go for a walk. It's, Absolutely. But it's actually you, you getting know. to, the, when I'm there and I'm exercising, I'm loving it, mm. and I love how I feel afterwards. It's getting, getting myself there. It's getting there. there. Yeah. That's a real problem. It is. I it make is. every excuse. I clean closets. I do. <laughs> I, I <laughs> I make she has very bag. clean closets, just so you know. I, at least you're moving. That's, that's right. At least you're that's right. But, but I'm using that as an excuse to go and do what I'm supposed to do. I don't no. know what to do. Well, you, know, you know, I always tell people, it's like, you know, think about how you feel after you train. I it's do. right. It's that right. your motivation to go in and do it. It's just getting started. That's, that's all you And make sure you do something do. that's fun. Totally. That you enjoy. That's what it is. All right, let, let's do this because I talked about this at the top. There's a lot of, because I'm into the fitness thing and I still make the mistakes. I still have old beliefs that are in place. So we've got some paddles here for our family here. We've got the flex, the false flex, and the true flex. Okay? <laughs> and we're going to throw some, uh, we wanna, we're going to get a true or false from, from the ladies here. Okay. And you're going you're gonna to demythify mythify right. these. Okay, here's the first one. Doing cardio only workouts is the best way to burn body fat. True or false? False, false. 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 Absolutely. A good blend of cardio and resistance training, in my opinion, is the best way to burn fat. You're, it's only going to increase your strength, but at the same time, increase your fitness levels as well. So, yeah, so it's you, a good blend. It's the perfect so, And having muscle tone actually helps burn calories, right? It does. Yes. Right. Having that. Absolutely. Like and fat. Yeah. That's right. exactly what I was going to ask. Yeah. I had yeah, that one right, true. just so you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not playing, but I As had it right. As you age, too, it's good uh, to continue with your yeah, weights, right? Exactly, yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, did you just call me fat? I think she I did not. <laughs> I, I think she called you old. Thing. I think she called me old. She called you old, not fat. Question two. Right. Best meal plan is to eat every three to four hours. True or false? Um... Get it up. You should be eating this, every three to four hours is a good. Kim says false. I do. I Christina, know Christina, true, true, true. Kim's the only one saying false. What is it? It's true. Okay? It is true. By eating every I three to four hours, what that does is it keeps your blood sugar stable, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't crash or you don't go and binge. And it also keeps your metabolism up. So your body's constantly burning fuel what to, you what know. What should we be eating? Exactly. Yeah. Great question. Mm -hmm. The perfect, I would say, meal plan is having the right carbs to proteins to fats. You need all three of those and for you know a good kind of formula to think about is, is that you should have 40 percent of your meal should be proteins 35 percent should be carbs and then the remaining 25 percent should be good fats well, we're talking like every three hours so you're talking breakfast lunch dinner but there's snacks in between that's the, the, true. Uh, snacks are our downfall right what, what do you have as a snack that's healthy to help you carry over to the next meal protein shakes are great um Protein bars as well, but the thing is, is about the bars, you really have to look at the nutrition yeah. breakdown yeah. because a lot, a lot of them sugar. have sugars in it, yeah. exactly. So, um, and then, you know, you could, fruit is a great one. Make sure you have a little bit of fat with it with some almonds or some cheese too for, you know. All right. Um, your blood sugar exactly, it keeps your blood sugar stable. True or false, is it okay to eat after six o'clock at night? Um, okay. 
You're all say true. No, Tanya says you should not eat after six. Everybody else says it's okay to eat after six. Oh, no, you should not eat after six. That's Wait, what I meant. No, the yeah, question is, is it okay to yeah. eat after six o'clock? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's good? I think it's okay. Is it okay yeah. to eat after six? It is okay to it eat is after six. six. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, eat after six? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm wrong. <laughs> really? Yeah, go back and justify that because I, there are a lot of people think, oh, I don't want to do that because I'll eat it. just sit in my stomach. Exactly. Well, you know, I don't recommend eating literally as you're getting into bed, but um, you should, you know, even when you're sleeping at night, your body is, is it's active. It's burning calories, too. So anytime that you deplete all of that nutrition in your body, it wants to store the fat. So by eating every three to four hours, even after six o'clock, you should get in that last meal. I crave sugar at night, though, or Me fattening. Too. Debbie has my guess one. I have yes. a question, yes. um, teacher. Should <laughs> the should the biggest meal of the day be breakfast? I've always heard that. Is that the biggest it is. It should yes, because you have the Love rest of the day to burn those too. additional calories that you eat. But it should be a you know a healthy again. It's the breakdown of the nutrients of the, okay. the protein. Okay, one last okay. quick one because okay. a lot of people. Um, I well, I, I'm not going to set this up. You can, you can get quality workouts in less than 30 minutes, true or false? You can, you can, you can, you wow. can. It, can you get a quality workout? Absolutely, oh, you can. Goodness. Yes, you okay. can. I think a lot of people think that they got to go into the gym and they have to work out for hours to, you know, yeah. to get fit. And, you know, if you do it right, the one thing I always say is, is that one thing we can never get back is time, right? Yeah. So right. if you go in and you do a very efficient, which a good workout would be a lot of compound moves, it's multiple exercises at the same time, you know, in less than 30 minutes, you can get an extremely good workout. Now you have no excuse, right? Yeah, yeah no Kim, reason to break whatever that Chris New Year's <laughs> More information, Alex Isley is the way to go in, um, on his Thank website. Com, by the yeah. way. Thank um, you. And we're coming back. Tanya. Yes, super fun things you can do with your kids for New Year's. Does the bubble count?